We start off with a mix of pale blue for the sky. I'll be leaving behind a few white areas for the tree. The trees that we have uh, got today is like is like a highly saturated and lighter in tone. Because of that, I need to leave this white behind. If the color of the trees were like darker in tone, then I could have. Uh, painted them over the blue but because they are like lighter in tone I have to leave the whites behind I'm using a bit of a raw sienna and other warm colors uh, kind of muted using the blue that I used for the sky. This color would form part of my foreground and the rest of the background as well. It's time to mix in that lab, that high key green that we've got today. Um, I'll use a bit of a quinacridone gold and a bit of yellow, just a bit of viridian and a bit of raw sienna into it. The green looks a bit too bright at the moment. Hopefully it will dry and dull down a bit. Um, we'll see how it goes. Thank you. 
whilst this wash is still wet, I'm going to drop in a bit of darker green into the trees and let it blend with the lighter green that we put in earlier. a bit of cobalt blue dropped in wet on wet into the wash. A bit of blue to put in the buildings at the background I'm not so sure whether this is dark enough I'll just leave it like that and then we'll proceed into painting the church if need be I will darken the buildings later It's time to be mix a bit of uh, kind of a gray, kind of a warm gray. Uh, uh, I have used a bit of uh, burnt sienna and uh, raw sienna mixed with a bit of blue that was left behind. So the church would be easily the focal area of this painting so that needs to be put in carefully the church would become darker as it uh, as we move towards the horizon um, even though there are tons of architectural details in the building it is important that we paint the whole church as one shape and it reads as a single shape bit of blue into the mix as it becomes darker
I'm just mixing a color that's almost a black. Uh, I usually paint the darkest darks towards the end of the painting, but uh, I need to make use of the moist wash at this point of time so that the darks that I put in now blends with the wash that I have put in earlier. So I'm in the process of simplifying like buildings, cars and lots of other things that are there on the right of the uh, reference photo. Uh, we need not focus on each one of them. So this particular grey would simplify all of them into one shape. And the grey would continue all the way up to our foreground and all the way to the left of the painting as well. One of the issues with this particular reference photo is it's got too many things in it and I need to continuously remind myself that the church would be the focal area of my painting and all the other things should be painted in a manner that they don't draw attention to themselves. We move on to probably the most interesting part of this painting, the branches on the right. For a moment I even thought of leaving them out because they are a very sh strong shape, darker in color and easily they will draw a lot of attention towards them. But then I decided let's go ahead and see how it looks. Um, trying to put them in a manner similar to how it's there in the reference photo even though we assume that branches grow in a random fashion there is a pattern in nature so I'm trying to kind of follow what is there in the reference photo and as you can see the it's already grabbing a lot of attention that's all right we'll continue
can see a few leaves there, one or two. Just notice them in the reference photo, so I'll put them in as well. In the reference photo, the figures are walking away from the viewer. Uh, I just thought it's better if they walked towards us. So It's a bit difficult to put in these small figures. And hopefully it reads as two people and one of them pushing a pram. to be very careful with this shadow because if it becomes too dark it will like kind of cut the painting into half so it needs to be really pale and just dark enough to read as a shadow as well looks good so far and I'll just put in the shadow in the foreground as well entirely happy with the darks that I have put in now, but it's supposed to read as a car. I don't think it does, so that's alright, I'll leave that and move on. I 
have already painted this particular tree in an another demo. Uh, it was one of the major shapes in that particular demo. Uh, I have given the link to that particular demo as well. So it's very interesting to see that uh, the same tree being covered in two demos and in two different manners. So it's barely visible in this particular demo. In the previous video it was like one of the main shapes. few more dry brush strokes to denote a few more branches. bit of white gouache for that uh, water fountain. Mm, I left a bit of white behind but uh, it's not enough so need a bit of help from the gouache. So we are almost at the end of the demonstration and I'm not entirely happy with the way that the shapes are connected together. Uh, I kind of feel that some of them are like standing on their own and without connecting with the other shapes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the painting to dry and probably revisit it in a day or two and see whether I can connect the shapes in a better manner. After a day, I have done a few changes to the painting just to add a bit more life into it. I have darkened the trees on the left and added a bit more blue into it. Um, I think it reads much better now. And I have also darkened the buildings in the background and kind of merged them with the church building. Another thing that I have done is I have added a few birds on the grass. Um, it has added a bit of a liveliness to the scene compared to how it was before. So hopefully you enjoyed this demo. Uh, I have uploaded the reference photo and the finished painting and given the uh, location in the description below. Please feel free to ask any questions in the comments and hope to see you in another demo. Thanks for watching.